Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys the crazy mackerel murloc build. Now I'm not talking about one murloc. This is the build that beats literally everything out there, okay? Holy mackerel is the main staple of endgame high MMR battlegrounds and the one that does it best it's the Murloc build. Murloc build can actually start with Divine Shield on the mackerel and you've seen me do a few of the cheap tricks where I give it taunt and then it constantly refreshes and all that. Well there's even one stage above that and that is building, not just having, building two Divine Shield poisonous ginormous mackerels. This is the most unstoppable build in the game and I wanted to present to you guys in one of the best executions I've had of it. So hope you guys enjoy it and we'll see you guys next time. Will you play your next game using a strategy that you're saying everyone else is using to win just to demonstrate? I basically did that by playing the Sorrowlisk build for like two or three days straight and I made it to top 25. I made it to 12,300 rating. I was ahead of all the streamers, I believe. And then I stopped doing that, and then I lost a thousand points in one day. Because I went from playing one out of the, like, four degenerate mid-range builds to zero out of the four. Rip. Ooh. That is really good. Alright. It's kind of true and constructed as the same narrative. I find aggro really annoying and dumb and unfair. Alright. I find aggro unfair because if an aggro player wants to play a 5 minute game, anyone he plays, plays a 5 minute game. If a control player wants to play a control game, then who gives a shit? He doesn't get to choose. The faster deck gets to choose, and having faster games is by nature the best way to gain ranking in Hearthstone. Like, You'd have to win at such a grotesque amount more with a control deck for it to actually be better for playing in a ladder environment. Nice work out there. Never Murlocs. Skeleton and 12 are 13k plus. Well, when I hit 12,300, I was ahead of 12 wins by like 100 points. I'm sure they've hit those numbers before, but like, I'm just telling you, when I when I hit like 12,300 out of curiosity, I went to check and I was ahead of all the streamers that I know about. But okay, even even if I wasn't, like my my point is the same, right? Even if I wasn't, even if I only made it to, to 11,500 or whatever, it, it doesn't matter. The point. The point is very much the same. If a mid-range player plays a control player, they're forced to play a long game. Why do you assume that? Mid-range is actually supposed to be the counter to control. Mid-range player plays a control player, they win the game. Nice hit there. Nice work out there. Keep up Still no more locks, shit. Hmm, fine. No fours I really want. There's a lot of threes that are very good though. Really 
<laughs> Still no murlocs. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have leveled shit. I'm just I'm just getting tilted right now, sorry. Still no murlocs. Fine. Good. You thought combo countered control? Hmm, no, it depends on the combo deck. A lot of combos are not guaranteed in this game. Mid-range typically counters control because, um, typically, typically. I know, I'm, I know there's exceptions, I'm sure you can come up with some. Uh, think of it this way, like a mid-range card is like a 5-5, five, five, right? A 5-5. Five, five. Like control card, let's just say it's an 8-8. Eight, eight. Whatever, you know, I know it's oversimplification. but So if you play a control versus control match, then a control player uses hard removal on an 8-8. Eight, eight. The control player has anti-aggro tools. Damn, that was a big hit. But when you play like a 5-5, five, five, there's nothing that the control player can do. You either like use an inefficient AoE, or you have to use single target removal. But because of the nature of the curve of the game, a mid-range deck can have way more 5-5s five than a control deck can remove. Still no Murlocs. Alright. This is one of the luckiest Murloc runs so far, but I, I need to get buffs, because like, no buffs is, is not gonna not gonna work. I need to get a buff like next turn. I'll probably have to sit on four to look for a Murloc buff. But um yeah, zero Murloc in the in the hero power. I'm basically playing Jaraxxus right now. Quite a bit of damage. Damn. I've got some fresh recruits for you. That is actually pretty good. I think I can pass this off. Okay. I'm, I might still lose here, but I shouldn't lose by too much. It has two triples and Brianna says no murlocs. Well. <laughs> It's kind of crazy, though, isn't it? It's kind of crazy. I still haven't landed on Murlocs. Jaraxxus Murlocs, boys. I've had Murlocs on every roll. It's been good. I did I did say that it's been some of the best Murloc cards. And I just needed a stat buff, and then I got one. Okay, train. Thank you, guys. Protect the Cobalt, guys. Must protect. Protection successful. Look at that shit. Cobalt and some Divine Shield and Harvest Gones. I've got some fresh recruits for you. It'll grab wins for a while. Alright, I guess I'll do that. I could have just tried to force it off of that, but I don't necessarily want to sell a card right here. Very unlikely I get a triple, but it's not impossible. It's not impossible. Let's let's consider that for a second. Okay. I think one more roll and then it's done. Yeah, it's done. Plants are gonna win. I don't. Do, I don't like plants in Wind Fury. Do I have a taunt buffer. No. I think I maybe did around earlier. Okay. If I get an opponent on the weaker side, I might be able to go one tier up. 
Pretty lucky. I barely won this. I bet you there's some chance to actually kill him. Actually, I was at 26. That was pretty hard. Yeah. Alright, we're against dead, dude. Nope. Nope. I'll own six. Yeah, we whiffed on poisonous and divine shield. Kind of sucks, but... Is what it is. Do some damage. I don't really want to give them all taunt. Oh, I got a buff. Is a beast. <laughs> all right, dude. All right. Okay, I hope I don't die. This will be fine. Got him. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. A good tactical choice. I have really high health on my Murlocs, but, um, not much else. Oh, people are saying I should have had attack. Oh, no. I don't know. That's okay. My attacks might be a little low, for, but we'll see. Macros are still going strong, boys. <laughs> that card is so dumb. Look at that, dude. If he went AFK and sold every minion, the result was not much different. And it's not like my board is that good. 
Look, look, he he could have he could have won. He could have won. Do you guys understand that? Oh my god. It, it hurts my brain, guys. He could have won. I'm gonna triple Hydra here. Probably won't, but... Oh, that's good. Oh, I forgot I'm looking for Argus too. I don't know if I got one. I haven't been paying attention to it. Can't do Wind Fury. I have enough of those to attack. Okay, fine. Fine. Yeah, look at that. He's playing dragons with Caligos. What's that? Purchased first holy mackerel. This <laughs> is so stupid. I know I have holy mackerel too, but I'm actually playing murlocs. Alright, and this is rare. Hit him for most of his life, though. Murlocs, boys. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, that work? No, that would be really bad. Because if I get a holy mackerel. Really screwing myself, actually. Uh, he could have won Doctor Strange, yes. I only taunt for one mackerel. No, I think taunting them both is really good. Damn, that's pretty nice. I didn't like that one either. There, fixed it. <laughs> if I were him, I'd give the holy mackerel taunt. But in case he didn't, this is probably still the best order. I I could very well lose this. Um, I, I, I think I may have passed like a taunt along the way, I'm not sure. Very well could have missed it. I got it poisoned, but I didn't get it. Oh my god, no. Alright, we're good. We're very good. We're stupendous. Game's over, boys. We definitely could have lost this, even though he only had one macro. Could have just been obliterated by it alone. He 
You hit him for 22 twice in a row, yeah. Like 10% chance to lose or something. Wait, what? I guess nothing else can kill anything else, huh? Even still, I'm surprised it's zero. We need Doctor Strange to take a look at that probability outcome once again.